In this module, we will look at information communication in the past and compare that with the same at present. In the past, uh, information communication was a highly specialized topic and the important thing to bear in mind is that the focus was on data communication. And the two dominant technologies in the sense that mostly data communication involved mainframes and the technology itself that was used was known as the analog communication technology. So this is the focus of the previous emphasis on data communication. In other words, uh, the emphasis was on data communications and the computers that were used were mostly mainframes and the technology that was used was known as the analog communication technology. A consequence of using the mainframe technology was that the architecture of computing was centralized. Uh, for example, we had a mainframe computer that was the central point of operation and the mainframe computer was connected to the peripheral devices and other computers through a device known as the front end processor. It's important to bear in mind the function of a front end processor. The function of a front end processor is to regulate the traffic that goes between the mainframe and various peripheral devices and other computers. Now through a front end processor one may connect a mini computer to the mainframe or one may also connect terminals and terminals for example are usually connected through something called a concentrator. It's called a concentrator and these are all terminals and slow speed devices such as printers for example. Because these things are slow speed devices these lines are bound together and they are concentrated by this concentrator and they are then sent over a high speed line to the front end processor and the front end processor here will then manage the traffic between the peripheral devices and the mainframe. What is the reason for doing this? The reason is because the mainframe should not be taxed for managing the overhead. What is the overhead? Overhead is the flow of data between the mainframe and its various components so that mainframe can be used for its purpose. What is the purpose? The purpose is for computations. So in the past the uh, communication scenario was marked by the presence of mainframes and the transmission of data. It's important to bear in mind it is concerned with the transmission of data. Now look at, let us look at communication at present. The communication at present is uh, more than simply data communication. It's known as information communication. What is information communication? It is conform. It is made up of various components. Uh, one of which is, of course, data. And more than data, there are other things that are now transmitted on a regular basis uh, when involved in computer communications. For example, in addition to data, we also send images and then we send audio and of course the transmission of video is also involved at present. So the word data communication is perhaps not the right word to use anymore. The correct word to use right now is information communication that consists of the following four components. Also there's a difference in terms of the computing architecture. In the past we looked at uh, mainframes at present we are looking at microcomputer LANs and VANs. So it is better stated as a distributed computing architecture where networks are the basis on which 
their current computing architecture is based. The networks, for example, can be LANs, uh, there can be, for example, VANs that are larger than LANs, uh, etc. So basically, uh, once again, the computing architecture today is that of a distributed architecture where you have servers, clients, uh, this could be a LAN, then you could have everything over the internet. There is also another major difference from the early days and now. The difference is today we are based on something called the digital technology as opposed to analog technology. This is an important point. We are talking about digital technology now as opposed to analog technology. And of course, we are aware of the fact that there's the internet uh, that connects various computers or servers, etc., uh, around the world. When we talk about internet, as we go further, we will also look at a uh, few things or few different uh, constructions of uh, the internet. Uh, the first thing we will look at later on is known as the uh, intranet that is within a company. Then the other thing that we will look at is known as the extranet and the third component is of course the internet. Intranet is the smallest of these uh, networks that usually encompasses a particular company. Extranet expands beyond a physical location to include for example the branch offices of a company and finally of course you have the internet. So these are some of the current uh, situations that we have looked at in terms of uh, computer communications and uh, so to compare the past and the present we can say the following. Uh, to summarize we looked at in the past the transmission of computer data Today we look at information and we looked at a centralized structure in the past. Today we look at distributed. The centralized structure in the past was based on mainframes. Today the distributed structure is based on uh, microcomputers, uh, powerful servers, LANs and VANs and so on. The other thing that we uh, looked at in the past is the uh, technology which was analog. This is for communication. Computing technology in the past was digital too. Today both computer technology as well as the uh, communication technology, both of them are based on digital communication. So that's the other thing that you need to bear in mind. And finally, uh, in the past, we looked at uh, communications as a specialized topic. There were people who specialized in communication and they were employed in overseeing the mainframe communication and the networks that connected different mainframes over uh, different locations around the United States or even around the world. Today, you cannot look at communication as a specialized topic. Everyone needs to know some details of, specific of uh, communications and uh, there are a number of opportunities in communications because of lands and uh, local networks, internets, etc. The opportunities are just uh, tremendous for communication. So it has become uh, more than a specialized subject. There are very many carriers that are uh, based on communications as well. That is something that we will learn in the next module.